Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. I'm so excited to share with you what I got. I haven't had a quiet Saturday to myself in a long time. I drove to Chinatown here in Seattle and stopped by the Kinokuniya bookstore. Really quick, this is the only footage that I took while I was there. I was really giddy because this is the first time that I was seeing fountain pens in store because I had purchased all my other pens during the pandemic online. So I was giddy. I saw Quebeco Classic Sports, Percaos, Platinum Preppies, the Pilot Metropolitans, and I'm actually quite astonished that I did not buy a single fountain pen while I was there. And I purchased these items. All of them except for one uh, are new to me. And so um, I'm really, I'm really excited actually to um, open up my Traveler's Notebook items. I've never had a Traveler's Notebook before and uh, I'm excited to open this up, but I will do it last. Um, I'm kind of saving the best for last. Now, uh, if I were to do a favorite pens of all time, this would be on my list. This is a Pilot Opt Pen. And I would say this is probably my favorite ballpoint pen. Uh, I'm, I, well, this is one of my favorites, like my top two favorite ballpoint pens. Pilot, not oft. <laughs> Pilot Opt. And this is in the 0 0.5 millimeter. And what else to say about it? There are just times when I just enjoy an easy black ballpoint pen. Uh, you know, if I'm at the doctor's office and I'm filling out paperwork, this is, this is the ballpoint that I like to carry with me to fill out documents. And then also I got a Tombow Fudenosuke uh, brush pen and this is the hard tip and it's in the color gray. Let's see. So I got these two inks. Uh, they're both J. Urban in the 10 milliliter bottles. They're $6 each, uh, six US dollars. I got this one as a recommendation from one of my subscribers. They were telling me that we have very similar ink tastes and therefore recommended that I give this a try. So I'm excited to swatch this in my for, for my next currently inked video. So I have that. And then I got this olive green because um, I'll, I'll provide a link to my fountain pen collection video, but I am on the hunt for uh, just like a, a perfect ink pairing with my olive green Caveco Sport. My Caveco Sport happens to be one of my smoothest writers and I really enjoy writing with it. And I'm looking for just a beautiful olive green ink to, to, to complement my Caveco Sport. Next, I really don't know what this is, but I got it because you might have seen in my previous videos that I love to swatch inks with random objects around the house. Um, I've used bread clips. I've used, I'm currently loving um, using these stainless steel cups that I normally put in my kids' lunches. Now, this is something that I'm going to give a try. It's a Deleter Tonahera. Um, Let's see, I don't even know what this is. It says it's a specific spatula for rubbing screen. So I imagine it's for prints, for making prints, silk screens possibly, I don't know. Well, I looked online and it turns out these are tools that you use to apply and press on these color screen tones to your manga illustrations. That's pretty cool. Um, but I'm excited to um, try some ink swatches with this. I think it would be great. Um, it would be, a uh, it would be an upgrade for my for my bread clips. <laughs> Next, I got these washi tapes. Um, they're pre-cut, and I just thought they were lovely. And then I got these sticky notes. They come in a pack of 24 sheets, and this is from the Midori brand. Simple, it's beautiful. 
um, and I think will be a beautiful accent to my journal entries. Okay, last but not least, I'm really excited to open these packages. Um, so I got the camel color. Let's see. Okay, for all the travelers who have a free spirit. Ooh, okay, so it says it comes with a cotton bag, a leather cover, a notebook refill blank, and a spare rubber band. Hmm. I like how even the cardboard cover comes with a rubber band elastic. A little sheet to, um, to give you some tips on care. I imagine I can save this. This probably was meant to be used for the notebook as well. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, here is my traveler's notebook. Ooh. It's very thick. The color is beautiful. Oh, interesting. I use the Midori paper. Wow. Okay, so this is the bookmark. Wow, I love it. I can't wait to do a video a year from now as a check-in to see how my notebook has aged. Um, you know, I'll see other folks with their traveler's notebooks and they've had it forever and it's got just like a beautiful patina to it. I just can't wait for my notebook to look this aged and patinaed. It's gorgeous. Um, so I can't wait for this notebook to get to that place. It's gonna be so, so exciting. I got some lightweight paper refills, the craft paper refill, the craft paper folder, and some connecting rubber bands. Lightweight paper. Let's see. So it says that this is a notebook refill that uses papers that are thin and light. This allows the refill to have twice as much pages compared to the usual refill. So this, is, this only has half of the 128. So if I did the math, what is that? That's 64 pages. Oh, beautiful. It's very nice and thin. It kind of reminds, it reminds me of the, oh, lovely. I wonder if it's fountain pen friendly. This one says, uh, this is a notebook refill that uses our original craft papers that have a rough texture and a good feeling of writing. This is blank with 64 pages. Oh yeah, it's definitely got some texture to the page. It's not as smooth as the lightweight paper. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like the Hobonichi pages. This definitely has more tooth to, to it. Can't wait, I can't wait to um, use my white Sakura, Sakura gel pens on this. Nice. This is a folder that can be used in the traveler's notebook. You can use this to cover the refills you set inside or set it using the connecting rubber band. Oh, oh. So if I wanted, If I wanted, I can use it as cover. It's getting stuck here in the card slots. It's not really fitting, so I guess it's not meant. It's not meant for the books or the refill to actually go inside. Beginner mistake. But I imagine it would look like this. Very nice. 
Okay, and then last but not least, I have the connecting rubber bands. Oh, and they give you instructions, which is really helpful. Okay, connecting rubber band to set several refills to Traveler's Notebook. For an English version, please see the back side of this page. Oh, great. Put a refill between the rubber band and cover. Next, you place a second notebook next to the first. So this is more of a mid-weight paper. Smoother, smoother than the craft paper, that's for sure. Um, oh, I'm really liking the lightweight paper. I'm glad I got it. So, what do I want to do? The craft folder in. Now what's that for? Oh, okay. Gotta look at my instructions. So to put three in together, I'm gonna give it a stretch. Okay. I've set it. Now, Okay, I guess that's how you do it. Please let me know if I'm not doing it the right way. Okay, there's that. I'm making this one. Oh, I see. So you gotta take it off. It's like they're like stickers. I didn't realize. Makes a lot of sense. As I finish setting up the final finishing touches of my traveler's notebook here, I just wanted to tell you how excited I am to continue my collage with me and journal with me series, especially in this traveler's notebook. Um, creating this YouTube channel has been so much fun and I've already started connecting with people within the YouTube and fountain pen and journaling community and that's been a real gift. I would love your support if you can like and subscribe to my channel as you'll be the first to know when my videos upload. Thank you so much uh, for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!